Greetings and salutations. My name is Tish and welcome to the Artist Haven, where home plus art equals heart. In tonight's live video broadcast, it is Saturday night shenanigans. Woohoo! This is going to be awesome because I've got something really <laughs> kind of dumb and kind of silly, but I got something up, up my sleeve <laughs> to see what happens when we pour out of something. So, we're going to need probably about five-ish different colors. Um, and I've been mixing colors up since I got home at like 3 o'clock. So, <laughs> we'll see what happens. See if I mixed right. Because I try and guess what y'all are going to get. What all you're going to... And I, I mix some really weird colors, y'all. So, because <laughs> I'm prepared. <laughs> so, let's see who's in chat here. <coughs> Excuse me. That was kind of a half half cough, half sneeze. Well, I'll look at art of nature photography, Mr. Steve. Hello, hello. How near the war zone uh, am I? Well, there's a helicopter right now. I don't know if you can hear it. But, yeah. So, yeah. Um, Hello, Cheryl. Good to see you. And Gina Bina. Hello, hello. Oh, and this chat is going to drive me crazy. I love it when you guys talk, though. You guys keep on talking. Hello, Cynthia. And Brooke. Hello, Brooke. And Angela. Hello, hello. And Doris is here. Oh. Okay, whisper. Sir whispers no sound. Ooh, you've been knighted. <laughs> okay. And let's see there's Regina hello Regina awesome awesome do 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 I got something on at on through Amazon today so despite the chaos and the pillaging and fires and chaos that my city has become I'm still in a good mood because I have to be I have to try and find something to be happy about because the it's just it oh we won't talk about it. Let's talk about something happy. So let's see here. Um, what colors do we have? I saw. I thought I saw a purple. Um, so Cynthia says, any shade of purple? I knew that would come from you, Miss Purple Lady. Uh, and Jason is here. Hello, Jason. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. We need all the prayers and positive vibes, and we've got the full Minnesota um, National Guard, and there's, I guess there's, like, other, like, people, police stations coming down, but th it's going everywhere. It's, the, it's Austin on I-35. You know, they shut down, the protesters shut down I-35. I don't know if you've ever been to Austin, but that's, like, a major thoroughfare. So... There's Elisa and Sir Whispers says shimmer blue. I've got a shimmer blue. I've got a sapphire blue, which is a, a metallic. And then any purple. Well, golly gee willikers, y'all. When anybody says any purple, you know what I'm going to do. Oh, I don't have any diazepine purple mixed up. That was one I didn't grab, but I do have another metallic purple that we can use. It's the Extreme Sheen Amethyst. So we've got two metallics. This is going to be awesome. Yeah. Denver has a curfew now. To Jeez, oh, Pete, people. Here in Los Angeles, they shut down the 101 freeway in downtown Los Angeles. It's, you know... You'd think they would have learned by now. I mean, Rodney King was how long ago? I mean, that was like, I think I was like in high school at that time. Maybe just out of high school. And they're still trying to figure this crap out. Come on. And don't get me wrong. I know I went to school with a bunch of police officers. Because Alexandria Technical College used to be a college that they trained officers at. And, um... 99.9% .9 of those guys were good old boys, sweetheart, 
nicest people you ever met in your life. Um, Ivan Fossen, the chief of police back home, he was a super nice guy. Just don't make him mad. You know, don't do Don't break the law. Hello. You know, most police officers I have known in my lifetime are upstanding, good people. And it's always one or five or six, you know, that ruin it for everybody. And it now it's just like, it's just awful. So let's see. Elisa says green. Gianbina says yellow. Okay, let's see. I got yellow. And what green do I have handy here? Um, let's go with, since we're doing so many metallics, let's do a metallic leaf green. Um, <laughs> war zone. Jason, there was a man murdered by a cop, um, a few days ago, who was the same age as me. Um, and there's a video out on the internet that shows him being murdered basically it was blatant negligence i, I can't say <laughs> i want to say cuss words y'all so i'm trying to like come up with alternatives that are pg okay but um everybody uh, he's a man of color and everybody is just tired of it covid po politics everything i think this is just i think this is everything coming to a head and just people are tired of of the government and people are tired of everything and but now it's almost like martial law every city major city has a curfew even some of the smaller towns have curfews now so i've got metallic blue and i got metallic purple already regina says bronze let's see i have a bronze where'd it go oh i don't have bronze i have copper is that close enough let me know I <laughs> better hey I mixed up that red just for you look at Arteza Bordeaux red and I mixed up the whole container so I got a whole bunch of it so there we go well we're gonna have kind of a rainbow going on here let's see Dallas yeah Rodney King was where yeah because I, I, I was gonna say is Rodney King Rodney King was early 90s. I want to say 91 or 93, somewhere in there. There are many rumors that white supremacist groups and the drug cartel are taking major advantage of this. So sad the peaceful protesters are getting a bad name too. Exactly. It did start off as a peaceful protest. And there, that's kind of an oxymoron though, you know? But there... There was no looting and there was no craziness and then just a bunch of bad apples. You know, it. some of them do, majority of them, yes, respect them. But this guy that, that did this to, um, golly, now I can't remember his name. It's Floyd. I can't remember if Floyd is his first name or his last name. I'm sorry, I'm horrible with names and I mean no disrespect. But um, the guy that did this has been let off like nine times for shooting people for um over violent um arrests and stuff so yeah well of course i've got prussian blue are you kidding me i can't i come prepared i didn't get it in the bottle though because yeah <laughs> oh there we go rodney king was may 4th 1992 see i knew it was i knew i was like just out of high school George Floyd, that's what his name is. Thank you, Elisa. All right. Well, hello, Sue. Good to see you in the chat. Okay. Yeah, there was a lot of complaints, but there were actually like charges that were brought against him and they were all dropped. That's all I remember. Yeah, excessive force. He shot somebody. <laughs> hello, Lisa. Hi, y'all. Took my resin gloves out to say hello in the middle of resin. Still here, Doris, Cynthia. Hello, hello, hello. Good to see you. Oh, I'm clicking on everything. 
I think everybody's just done gone crazy. I know, I know, I don't understand that either. And 80%, okay, don't quote me on this, but I read somewhere today, and it was a news source, so I'm counting it as somewhat reliable, um, that 80% of the people that have been arrested here for looting and, and just general assholeness, um, 80% are not even from the state of Minnesota. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're not going to talk about Amy. Mm -mm. Not going to talk about her. Okay. So. Uh, 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 there we go. Yeah, Martin Luther King had it right. He's a very, you know, we need leaders like we used to have. We need to have res be able to have respect for our leaders like we used to have. And I'm not saying, you know, men are men. And I'm, I'm grouping women in that too. Humans are humans. We, we make mistakes. We all have faults. But when you have the, tr you know, truly have someone's better, tru truly have things for someone's best interest in mind, that's when things happen. Okay. I'm going to take this as... Yeah, I don't think, I I don't know. I just don't know. Okay, so we're going to put this in between here, this, and then. I'm trying to go for colors here. That's still wet. I didn't clean off my thing last night like I was going to. So I think that's the order we're going to pour in. I've got some titanium white to throw in there just for extra me extra good measure. And so me, being me, I had to go get <clears throat> juice for my mod because I vape. And on my way home, I stopped at the dollar store because I wanted to get uh, Raya some new kitten toys. And um, I needed to get, because she keeps, I got this little plastic food dish for her but she keeps attacking it and sliding across the floor and spilling all her water so I only put a little tiny bit of water in there to begin with and then she spills it and it's just water and I have a mat down so whatever but I just in the middle of the night I don't want to get up and give her water you know because she goes running amok in the middle of the night even though I play with her like six times a day but so I got these big heavy ceramic bowls at the dollar store so I'm hoping I'm hoping they will keep her from knocking it all over the place. And then I got her some breakfast and I got some other, you know, some bottles like this and, and um, some other stuff, you know, just dollar store stuff. But then I was walking down the aisle and on an end cap. Okay. If any of you have worked retail end cap is at the end of the aisle, all the stuff that they have end cap. There you go. They had these. Well, hello, Trey. Awesome to see you. But they had these. And they're corn trays. So if, okay, maybe I, I'm a little bit, you know, I'm a little bit countrified. <laughs> corn on the cob was a thing when I was a kid, except for two summers, because one summer I lost my two top teeth, two front teeth. And then the next summer, I lost my bottom two front teeth. So corn on the cob was just, you know, lost its thrill. But I was looking at him, and I was like, you know what? It'd be kind of fun to fill it with paint, grab this end, and just do like a little puddle pour. Little puddle pours. There's four of them, but I think I'm just gonna do three. <clears throat> I got another thing too, but that'll be next Saturday night because I gotta, I gotta modify it a little bit. So, um, so we're gonna take. A little bit. <laughs> Elisa's eating corn now. Yay, corn. So I like the band corn. Does that count? I'm not a big fan of corn now. I love cornbread, though. Don't get me wrong. So we're just going to kind of layer these. 
And this is titanium white. Okay, and we're just going to do a layer of white. There we go. We'll see what happens. So let's start off with Prussian blue. Ooh. There we go. And this yellow gets to be a little overpowering, so hopefully this time it won't explode. I did clean out the tip, and I cleaned it all out. I strained it all out and strained it, washed, rinsed out the bottle. So we're just going to kind of do that kind of thing. Not squeeze it real hard. Push the Prussian blue. Oh, I forgot the copper. Okay. Let's just do. There we go. Put that back over there. I love popcorn. I haven't had popcorn in forever. <laughs> corn. Yes, exactly. That's what I'm saying, Brooke. I need some corn in my life. Although I was listening to Five Finger Death Punch. Um, there's a song called You that just gets me pumped up and ready to rock and roll. Okay. I wish I could find just the little caps for these because I'm just like, dude. All right, let's go this way. This one gets to be overpowering too, so I don't. Okay. So it's like ketchup on corn. Gross. Okay. This is like my, this is my, one of my favorite, the Amethyst Extreme Sheen and then the Arteza Pearl um, Purple. Or Vi Pearl Violet, I think is what it's called. Okay, so we want this kind of like that. All right, and then I'm going to put a little bit of white on the top here. Just like a little river of it. Just like a soul. And now the trick is to move these. Let's move these back here. Elisa, I even mixed you up some turquoise. <laughs> okay, I'm this. Whoa, he's starting to drip already. You just stay right where you're at. Okay, we're gonna do him first. I think if we put, maybe if we put them together, they'll kind of keep each other happy. There we go. Okay. 
So I'm going to use a little bit of basic white. All right, what happened to my white stir stick? There it is. I don't know if I like that sound. I'm going to put a little bit of Floetrol and water in here. The best thing growing up was my dad's garden and having fresh sweet corn in the summertime. My dad had a green thumb. I have a brown thumb. I don't say it's black yet, but I can kill things. I do manage to kill a lot of plants. Okay, so let's put some white down. And leave a little bit in the bottom there just in case I need it. Because I will be mixing up more tomorrow. Let's see. I'm just trying to find my knife. and Oh, yeah. It's in my pile to get clean because it's really, really dirty. But it'll work. Let me get some of this off of here. There we go. See, I, I just take hot water and a little bit of vinegar and... It soaks right off, so I don't ever really worry about it. All right, just gonna kind of spread this out. Oop -a -doop. Kids in the neighborhood out playing, birds are chirping. You know, I feel bad for kids that are in this area because you know it's sunlight out. They can't be outside playing; they have to be indoors. You not be in any public places and like you know it's bad enough we have this whole COVID-19 thing going on and you got all this shenanigans and it's not fun shenanigans shenanigans should be fun and safe all right now let's see what happens y'all Let's leave that there. Um, I am going to cover this real quick. Let's take the stick out, though. <clears throat> I think I got everything else covered. I just don't want any other colors getting in there and tainting the Prussian blue. I have just, I have a, this is the Windsor Newton Prussian blue. And I have a whole tube of the Amsterdam Prussian blue. So you're good for a little while. Okay, since this one wants to be all like escaping, let's see if we can do this. quite doing what I wanted it to do, but that's okay. We're going to go with it. Okay, stop. That looks kind of cool, though. I wonder what that would look like as a skin. I might just, like, leave it in there and see what happens. Okay, now we're going to turn this. And... Strike this right here.
All right. Set that one down. <clears throat> and this one I'm going to try and do right in the middle. There we go. Oh, all right. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab the massage comb. We're going to wreck this. I'm going to bring it. There's my towel. Y'all, <laughs> y'all are making me hungry. Okay, and then we're gonna go like this. And we're going to drag one this way. There. there. Now let's tip a Rooney this and see what happens. I'm actually going to stack this one on top of this one and see if they flow into each other. There we go. Probably not because they're not very even. All right, here we go. Let's go that side first. That's a lot of paint. Those things hold. I didn't get a chance to measure out the paint. All right, let's kind of rock this. Back. Let's bring it down. Okay, let's bring this over here. this
There we go. That's what I wanted. Okay, I'm going to get paint on my wrist, but I don't care. So I'm going to get that white that's on there off. There we go. Okay. Whoa. Oops. There we go. Now we're back to zero. That yellow. Here's me. Oh, that yellow is going to take over. And the yellow freaking disappeared. All right. Let's set this down. Just like that. Let me get cleaned up a little bit here. We'll take a torch to it. Yeah, I'm, I get into my work. You can say I, I really get into my work. Oh, dude. Hang on one second. <laughs> like, I'm trying to keep my shoes paint-free. I just realized I was still wearing them from when I was out running errands. I haven't even taken my shoes off. So I've been running around like a chicken with a head cut off. Okay, one more towel. Okay, let's torch this guy. And there is no silicone in this. This is just paint reacting with paint. We are gonna have quite a few freckles because I did just mix up the white. The other colors have been sitting for a while, so. And I stir gently. Or as gently as I can. This, I want to dip something in there, but that'll be later. I let it sit for a little while to let it kind of do its thing. All right, let me bring this up so y'all can see. I wish you guys could see the layers of metallic in this. This is just epic. But there's like little fingerlings, and there's ribbons, and there's swirls. And you guys, I'm serious. Saturday night is my favorite night, like, really, because you guys, I think we've done one hot mess of Saturday Night Shenanigans. And this has been going on since November, if I remember correctly. And every painting we've ever done has just turned out magnificently. There's been a couple that dried wonky because you know bugs in summertime and fruit flies not in the summertime but <clears throat> I found out that if I dump if I dump vinegar down my drains they stay in the drain they don't come out but this right here do you see that that is like my favorite part and it's metallic and it's oh my gosh it's so cool and then there's like little peaks of yellow and i'm trying to figure out what that line is can you see that faint little line it's not a hair it's just like i don't know i'm leaving it though i'm not messing with it i'm just leaving it just as it is because wow that that bordeaux red mixed with the prussian blue and made this magnificent plum kind of purple color so that is that for tonight <clears throat> um monday afternoon 3 30 central time i'm going to be doing some art experiments 
um, I have a, a whole litany of experiments that I want to do, so I'm just going to have to sit down and figure out what I want to do. And then um, Tuesday night, we are doing uh, Tuesday night Tish Talk with uh, Brooke. We're doing a redo because <laughs> she's been asking me for a redo. <laughs> so I, being the friend that I am and the nice person that I am, um, we're going to do a redo, That's um, we're, but we're going to ask our new questions, and we're going to um, go a little deeper with uh, Miss Brooke. And then also Tuesday evening on Trey's channel, Mac, Max World Entertainment. Do I have that in the right order? <laughs> um, I'm going to be going live on his channel. And so um, I will put the link on the... Um, on the channel page on Facebook and also in our group. Um, I'll also put it on Twitter. So if you follow me on Twitter, you'll have it. If you follow me on Facebook, you'll have it. If you're in our group, you'll have it. So if, if you're not on any of those places, you need to get there. Links are down below. Um, also, if you are enjoying this, please smash that like button. If you know someone who would love to be a part of Saturday Night Shenanigans and doesn't know the channel, please share this out there on the interwebs. And if you'd like to see me in, continue to do paintings like this and all the education stuff that I do during the week, please help support the channel by either PayPal, buy me a coffee, join our Patreon, or I have an Amazon wish list that has all kinds of paints and all kinds of wonderful things that I need for the, the studio. And they're at all price points from $3 all the way up to $300. So whatever you can afford, it's there, and I greatly appreciate it. The majority of the paints that I used tonight were gifted to me. Um, I did buy the Floetrol, and I, you know, have to, you know, take the time to mix it and everything. So, um, but I do appreciate it. Um, I still need canvases, <laughs> but I'm building my own. Oh, you guys, I'm so excited. I can't wait to show you. Anyway, um, <laughs> I've been busy. I've been busy. Um, anything else? Um, oh, yeah, hey, I'm so sorry. If you're new here, well, I'm sure the girls and the guys in chat have welcomed you already, but let me take a moment to welcome you. Thank you for joining us tonight. I appreciate you. And if you're enjoying the vibe and want to join a little artist tribe, all you got to do is click subscribe. Thank you so much, y'all, for joining me tonight. Say prayers for those people that have lost their business, lost their homes, are losing their neighborhoods, not just here in Minneapolis, St. Paul, Twin Cities area, but around the world, you know, around the nation. Send out positive vibes, say your prayers, chants, meditations, whatever it is that you do, do it, please. And know that I love you for it. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I appreciate you. Remember, be kind to one another. Peace, love, and happiness.